Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Luke Cage. Let's get started with the eyes. We're going to start with the one on the left. We're going to draw the brow line. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve down and in. And we're going to curve up the inside of the brow for a frown line. Just curving that up. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So we're going to leave a gap in the middle. Starting from the inside, we'll curve down and we'll curve above the eye for the upper eyelid. From here, let's tuck in the eyeballs underneath. Starting on the left, we're going to step in towards the right just a little and draw a half circle underneath that brow line and just coming in towards that center. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the inside, curving down and then tucking that in underneath the eyelid. Let's go ahead and draw in a little highlight on the top left side here. So up here we're going to draw a circle and on the right side we'll do the same thing. From here, let's color in the inside of the eye black. Let's move over to the right side and do the same thing. We'll color this in black. From here, let's work in some wrinkles inside the center of the face here. So on the center here, just on the left of the center, we're just going to curve up and we'll curve the top part of the brow. So up here, we'll curve out towards the left and curving out towards the right, we'll fold in some eyebrows. So just above the eyelid, we're going to start on the outside here and just leave a gap and curve in. So we come in towards a point, it starts to taper in. From the outside, we're going to angle up and then we'll taper down to a point just down in the middle there. We'll color the eyebrow in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So starting from the center, we're going to curve out towards the outside of the eyebrow, angle up, and we'll just taper it. So from this point, we'll curve out to the outside of the eyebrow. We'll color that in black. From here, let's draw in some eye bags underneath the eyes. So just in the inside of the left eye, we're just going to go and curve around the center inside of the eye. And go on the right side just underneath. From here, let's draw in the nose. So in between the eyes, just down here, we're going to draw a U-shaped curve. Starting from the left, curving up towards the right. Then we're going to draw in some nostrils. So from the top of the left side, we're going to step down and circle around. It's almost like a C-shape and then a backward C on the right side. From here, let's layer in the mouth. So we're going to have his teeth gritted. So on the left side here, we're going to curve over towards the right, coming down in the middle, then over towards the right side. From here, we're going to curve down the sides of the mouth, kind of pulling the lines outwards. Then from here, we're going to connect those two points with a curve across the bottom of the mouth. Curving across, and then we're going to layer in some teeth. Starting on the left side on this line, we're going to curve across with a short line. On the right, we'll do the same thing. And then we're going to cross it like a T on both sides. And we're going to color those two corners in black. Underneath the mouth, let's draw on the bottom lip. So under here, we're just going to draw a curve just in the middle area of the mouth. From here, now we can layer in the sides of the face. So on the side of the left eye, we're going to draw a point. On the side of the right eye, we'll draw a point. We're going to connect those two points with a curve coming down towards the chin and back up towards the right side. So the chin we're going to locate just below that lip. On the left side, we'll curve down. It's almost like a half circle. Curving down towards the bottom. And we'll work our way back up towards the right side. Curving in. And then just slightly bringing it in as we get towards the temples. Now from here, let's draw in the mustache. We're going to leave a gap in the middle, we're going to draw two short lines in between the nose and the mouth. On the left side, on the bottom here, we're going to curve up along the edge of the mouth, curving up, and then we're going to curve down the side of the mouth, just down towards the chin. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we want to leave a little gap in between the mustache and the mouth, curving down. Now we just want to follow this up along the side, on the left, going up, 
Now as we come down, we're just going to go a little bit wider along the bottom. We'll do the same thing on the right, so curving up. And then we'll go a little bit wider as we come down towards the chin. Let's color that in black. From here, let's draw in a little goatee. So underneath this lip line, we're going to draw two lines coming down. So there's a little slight overlap on either side of the bottom lip. We'll color that in black. From here, let's draw in the top of the head. So we're going to take these two points and curve the top of the head. So from these points, we're going to actually go out a little bit and then make our way to the top, which will be right about here. Starting on the left, I'm going to circle around and just keeping my eye on the top of the head, which will be right about there, and then carefully pulling this down towards the right side. From here, let's layer in the ears in behind the head. So up from this point, we're going to step up, curve out, and then just pull it right in behind the head. Up here, we're going to draw some inner ear details. So right up here, we'll curve in behind the head. Down here, we're going to draw an earring. So I'm just going to draw a simple circle at the bottom of the earlobe. Take that and flip it over on the right side. Starting up here from that point, curving out, and then pulling that in towards the side of the head. Down here, we're going to draw the inner ear detail, a little curve like that. And then we'll draw in a circle for the earring. Let's move on down to the body. So with all my chibis, I always draw the head and the body the same height. So using my opposite hand, I measure out the head, come down to the bottom of the feet. From the bottom of the feet to the chin, about halfway is where my waistline will be. And along the waist, we have this chain belt. So we're just going to leave a little space between the sides of the body and the chain. So on the left side here, we're going to leave a gap, curve down. On the right, we'll curve down. Now let's draw in that chain belt. So this is a simple way of drawing a chain. So on the side here, I'm going to draw in an oval. Right at the bottom of that line. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Just so we frame this in. We're going to leave a little space and draw the same oval across the waist this way. We want to just make sure that we leave a little space in between. And we just keep our eye on the right side. So we're going to fit one more in here. Now we want to connect these with a circle in behind. Starting from the center of this oval, we're going to curve up and then down on top of the next oval. And continue this, doing these little curves that go across the top. Like that. Now we want to go across along the bottom, starting on the left. We just connect these ovals across the bottom. Now in the inside, we just want to draw a smaller curve for the inside of the chain link, connecting those ovals. So now it looks like a circle tucked in behind these ovals. Going all the way across. And to finish off the ends, I'm just going to draw an oval tucked in behind on either side. We want to draw a little bit of a chain hanging down here, so we'll keep this simple. We're going to start right about here. We're going to draw an oval coming down. We're going to leave a little space and draw one more oval. Now we're going to do what we did up here. We're going to connect these two ovals with a circle. So going around the sides and then a smaller one inside. We'll draw one more at the bottom here. So starting on the left, we're just going to circle all the way around. We'll do a smaller one just below it. Okay, so we got the belt. Let's draw in a little neckline for the shirt. So starting on the left, we're going to scoop down and then back up on the right side. From here, let's get down to the legs. So just in the middle, just down here, we're going to draw a curve for the lower torso. From here, we're going to draw in the inside part of the legs. So stepping in on the left side, draw an angled line to the back of the knee on the left and an angled line going to the back of the knee on the right. We're going to curve down to the heels, curving down to right about the same height. Now let's draw on the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we're going to draw a curve. Draw the curve on both sides, making sure they're roughly the same length. Now we're going to draw on the top of the feet. So from the toe, I just want to draw a curve going up to the top of the foot, aiming towards the heel, 
but we're not going to go all the way across. We're just going to stop right about there. From the hip, I'm going to curve the top of the thigh. So right underneath this chain, I'm going to curve, and then we're going to draw a straight line down to the top of the foot. Let's go over to the right side and do the same thing. So starting at the same height here, we'll curve down towards the toe. Then from the hip, underneath the chain, we'll curve out the thigh and draw a straight line down to the top of the foot. Let's draw on the boot line. So from the back of the knee, we're going to curve to the front of the leg on both sides. We're going to do a little trim. So stepping down and just drawing that same curve below it. From here, let's draw on the arms. So I'm going to have the arms out in fists. So we're going to start on the left side. So the shoulders are going to come down towards the elbows and then straight out towards the fist. So we're going to start with the fist area on the left side first. Starting with the inside of the wrist, we're going to curve around and then pull this up in the middle of that curve there for the thumb. On the side of the thumb, we're going to curve out for the first finger. We're going to do a layered finger. So we're going to step up here, curve around and underneath the thumb. We do that one more time. So underneath this finger, we'll curve around and underneath that finger. Now the side of the palm right here, we're going to curve all the way up and connect with that inside of the thumb. So we're going to curve up and just connect it like that. Underneath this fist, we're going to curve in behind the body. Now up here, we want to draw the top of the forearm. We're going to curve up and in. Now from here, I want to curve the shoulder and round it out underneath the chin. From this curve, we're going to curve across towards the body. Up here, we're going to leave a little space and curve down for the wristband. We're going to separate. We're going to do two curves, just to give a little bit of detail. To make this look metallic, I want to give a little bit of a highlight or a black highlight underneath here. So we're going to curve across the bottom. We're going to step up, draw the same curve, and color that in black. Up at the top here, we're going to step down and just draw one single curve. Let's take that and draw the same thing on the right side. Starting with the fist, we're going to move out. Starting with the inside part of the thumb, curve up, down, and then come up in between that curve. Go to the side of the thumb, draw a curve like this for the first finger, layer this in behind the thumb and the finger for the second finger, and then draw one more in behind that. Again, on the bottom of the palm, start down here, curve up, and then just tuck that into that line underneath the thumb. Let's draw the bottom part of the arm. So starting at the same height, I'm going to curve in towards the fist. Now let's draw on the top of the arm. So underneath, or just beside this thumb, I'm going to curve in, and then round out the shoulder. From this point, curve the sleeve. We're going to step in, leave a little gap, draw a curve for the wristband. We're going to draw that twice. And then we'll draw that little highlight. So under here we'll draw a curve, draw that twice, color that in black. And we'll draw one more curve at the top here to finish that off. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Luke Cage. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you check out our Chibi playlist. We have a ton of characters in there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.